Hi, welcome to Mastering Our Programming course by Pact Publishing, authored by Selva Prabhakaran. I'm Greg Arnold, the voiceover artist for this course. Selva is a data scientist by profession, and a lot of his work involves solving problems related to machine learning and advanced analytics. He extensively uses R for such projects. In addition to this, he writes blogs at r-statistics.co and rstatistics.net. Mastering R Programming is an advanced R course where we follow a step-by-step -step approach to go from good to great with R and machine learning. This course picks up where we left in Selva's previous Introduction to R Programming course with Pact Publishing. Therefore, it is assumed that you have some working knowledge of R. In this course, we will learn the core machine learning algorithms and advanced in-depth concepts and finally implement them in R. All videos have hands-on working examples with detailed explanations. Most videos in this course close with the coding challenge and the solutions. We begin the first section with the pre-model building activities. The first two topics are aimed at describing the data and understanding the relationships between variables, whereas the next two are for detecting outliers and treating missing values using the MICE package. In Section 2, we see regression modeling in depth. Basic and advanced concepts related to regression models are discussed. With hands-on examples, we go over the complete procedure of building linear regression models and interpret the model results. Then we go into details of residual analysis and extract influential observations using Cook's distance. The best subsets, stepwise regression and ANOVA, help to choose better models while the K-fold validation helps to assess how the models perform on new data. Finally, we see how to build nonlinear models with splines and GAMs. In Section 3, we discuss classification models. This section introduces multiple approaches to model categorical variables. We begin with logistic regression, which is used to model binary response variables. We will tackle the problem of class bias and understand the special evaluation metrics computed from the confusion matrix and the ROC curve. We'll understand the math behind classification algorithms such as naive Bayes, classifier, K nearest neighbors, and tree base model. The last two videos introduce the powerful carrot package. Section 4 deals with modern machine learning algorithms such as SVM, XGBoost, and other ensemble methods. We will understand the core concepts behind these algorithms and do detailed, hands-on sessions, followed by coding challenges. Section 5 is dedicated to unsupervised learning algorithms. We discuss dimensionality reduction with principal components and clustering algorithms. We also build recommendation engines with a real-world example to recommend movies to existing users. In Section 6, we shift focus to time series analysis and forecasting models. We understand the basics of time series modeling and start using the robust XTS package. We'll break down a time series into its components and understand key concepts such as stationarity, detrending, de-seasonalizing, ACF, PACF, and so on. With the fundamentals in place, we venture into forecasting models such as exponential smoothing, Holt winners, and ARIMA models. In Section 7, we dive into text analytics. We begin with scraping text from Wikipedia and process them into a consumable format. The TM, NLP, and Open NLP package provides extensive facilities for text mining. We'll see how to create a term document matrix, normalize with TFIDF, and draw a word cloud. Cosine similarity can be used to score similar documents and latent semantic indexing, LSI, can be used as a vector space model 
to group similar documents. In latent directly allocation, we will extract underlying topics, discussed, and related keywords from a set of related documents. We will then score sentiments from user reviews using the TidyText and Syuzet packages. Finally, we classify text with machine learning algorithms using facilities from the R Text Tools package. In Section 8, we focus on constructing nice looking charts using the ggplot2 package. We will understand the principles that go into creating any ggplot and customize it. Modify the theme elements, change aesthetics, layouts and faceting. Different types of charts such as bar chart, box plot, and so on are discussed in detail. In Section 9, we discuss multiple strategies to speed up our code. Beginning with the best practices, we see how to implement parallel computing to run parallel loops using do parallel and for each package. We then go over to the powerful dplyr and data.table packages and familiarize ourselves to work with the pipe operator during the process. Finally, we will learn to write and interface C++ code in R using the powerful RCPP package. RCPP is discussed in detail with many hands-on examples. Finally, in Section 10, we build an R package using facilities from R Oxygen 2 and DevTools packages. We will write the help documentations and host the package publicly on GitHub so that anyone can install and use it. We will also build and check the package, perform mandatory checks before submitting to CRAN, and actually submit a package to CRAN. We do this so you have a full picture of what it takes to build a package acceptable to CRAN. So by the end of the course, you will gain a wholesome knowledge of machine learning, traditional predictive modeling, and the R language itself. You'll see me running hands-on coding sessions all along and explaining the concepts in detail. We will be learning a lot interesting concepts and solve numerous coding challenges throughout the course. Are you ready? Let's dive straight in to Master R.